Could you read that again, please, one more time? Really, it's really put some oomph into it. This is the last time. All right, make sure you enunciate. All right. Mr. Usman Bey. Go on. On behalf of the Emergency Medical Services Certification Board, it's our privilege to inform you that you have completed the 24-week training program and now certified for the position of station supervisor. Mm. We wish you all... Um, come on. That is music to my ears. And could you pass me one more slice of pizza, please, my good oh, man? Oh, yes. yes my, my, my pleasure, Mr. Supervisor. Oh, I like that. Yes. Mr. Supervisor. I should change my name. Oh, lovely, lovely weather we're having, Mr. Supervisor. And then I would walk in the door. There'd be trumpets. The whole thing. You know what? I gotta... I'm gonna be very honest with you, man. What I love about this letter and this, this certificate, I'd say I almost don't recognize you because you just become so humble. Okay, can you just let me have a little moment with this? Change okay, before, before the illusion of power is shattered? I mean, sure, it's a beautifully printed piece of paper in a very expensive frame, but that's it. It just says I can do the job. It doesn't say I have the job. Why didn't you say that before? Like, I, I got all this because I thought this was a bit of a celebration here. Well, what, what do you want me to do? Ryder's not going to leave the job anytime soon. He'll be doing that job when he's dead. I don't know. He's got gray hair. He's a stress ball. saying congratulations are in order. Thank you, sir. I guess I better be watching my back, huh? Got some new blood waiting in the wings. Oh, don't worry, sir. Your old blood is perfectly safe. What was that? Not old blood. Just, it's mine is newer. That's all I'm saying. It's like wine. So, uh, okay, yeah. listen. Don't worry about it. Listen, uh, there's someone here to see you. Uh, says he's an old friend. Okay. Old blood. Thank you. Look at this. Look at you, man. It's good to see you. Tommy, what the hell are you doing here? What, I can't drop in on an old friend? How did you even find me? I haven't seen you in, what, like three years? What, do you need money again? What? No, come on, man. Look, I know I've hit you up in the past, okay? But this is different. I'm clean now. Oh, yeah? I'm six months clean. Wow, I don't believe you. It's true, I swear. Look, Oz, I... you're my oldest friend, and... I don't have anywhere else I can go right now. Yeah, you don't get to play that card anymore. Really good to see you, though. Love the chain. Really working for you. I saw a guy get shot last night. What? It happened right in front of me, a corner of Pearl and Duncan. You were involved in a shooting? No, I wasn't involved. I, I was on my way home. I was minding my own business. So you didn't know the victim? No. I don't think so. I, I didn't get a good look at him, but the shooter is a different story. I'm sorry, you knew the shooter? Yeah, well, not by name, but I've seen him around the bar a few times. The thing is, us, he saw me. He even took a few shots at me. I got shot at last night. Okay, calm down, all right? That doesn't mean he recognized you. Well, that's what I was thinking, except for I go out for coffee this morning. When I get back, my apartment had been broken into. Now, that's gotta be him, right? I mean, what if what if I was home? What if I'd been there? Okay, just, wait a second. How did he find you so fast? I don't know. Everybody at the bar knows me. He could've asked around. All right, what did the cops say when you reported this? <sighs> you didn't report it to the cops. Why am I not surprised? I know how they're gonna treat a guy with a track record, okay? Look, I just... I just need a place to crash for a couple of days, all right? When this thing cools down, I'll be out of your hair, I promise. You know what? We're gonna meet my friend Toby first. Yeah, 
He is a lot more adept at handling this type of situation. Ozzy, come on, man. First of all, don't call me that. If you want my help, we go do this thing first. Toby, this is Tommy. Hey, Tommy. I'm gonna talk to you in the kitchen for a second. Yeah, yeah. Let's stay here. Okay. So this is Tommy. Comes around whenever you need your help, splits, and you're left cleaning up the mess, Tommy. That's actually a very accurate description, yeah. All right, so you're getting involved again. He's a pain in the ass, okay? But he says he's clean. And you believe him? I don't know. That's why I'm here. You need me to read him? If he's telling the truth, he's in more trouble than he's ever been in his life. All right, what happened? Hey, what's Tommy doing? Hey, Tommy! What's the deal? Where are you going, man? You failed to mention that your buddy here is a cop. Hey, I'm not a cop. I'm, I'm just a consultant. Yeah, for the cops. Tommy, you came to me asking for help. If I say Toby's OK, he's OK. I'm sorry, buddy. I, uh, I'm a bit twisted up here. I haven't slept, you know? No, it's all right, man. I get it. Look, if I'm going to help you out, I just want to know if you're using or not. No. No, I've been clean for six months. Getting off the needle is the smartest thing I ever did. OK. All right, look, uh, Oz gave me the rundown. He said you saw a guy get killed last night. Yeah, I was in spitting distance. We'll bring you in, you can give a statement. No. Last time I dealt with cops, I cooperated myself into three broken ribs and some jail time, okay? I'm not dealing with cops. All right, look, Oz, if he's not gonna cooperate, the only thing I can do is go to Metro and see if they've got any leads. Well, he's not safe at his house. I got broken into this morning. Really? Yeah. All right, well, if they're going after him, they're gonna start with his friends. Do you get that? I never thought of that. All right, I'll go see if I can find out anything about the shooting. In the meantime, you guys stay here, all right? You need to lay low. Toby, I can't ask you to do that. Look, you're not asking, OK? I'm insisting. I'm going to go check out where he saw the shooting, see if I can find any evidence. I'm going with you. I I'm getting you involved in this. I got to go, too. All right. Look, make yourself at home. All right, don't touch anything. Yeah. So what is it with you and Tommy, anyway? I don't know, man. We used to be inseparable from two to, like, 12. Just a couple of snot-nosed kids getting in every kind of trouble you could think of. Then my parents lowered the boom. The way they saw it, they didn't immigrate from Turkey for me to waste my days as a shiftless layabout. Layabout? Yeah, it's my mother's second favorite word, after cataclysm, which she threatened to unleash upon me if I didn't do what she said. So I had to stop hanging out with Tommy. Right. He kept getting into trouble, dropped out of high school, drugs, the whole thing. So why does Tommy keep coming back to you? I don't know. I guess I got a soft spot for the kid. Figure under that mountain of bad behavior and terrible decisions, he's got a good heart. You know, you don't have to be involved in this. I do, so I, I really appreciate you uh, helping me out. Don't thank me yet. I, I can't guarantee any results. You do understand the concept of a day off, right? It means you don't actually have to come into work. Yeah, I do. Uh, but I've got a big favor to ask you guys. What, and take us away from hours of super fun paperwork? What's going on? Well, Oz's friend, Tommy, he saw uh, a murder last night. Recognized the shooter from a bar. And this Tommy is reliable? Not really. Hey, well, has Metro been informed? No, I don't think so. Oz and I, we went by the scene. Uh, no body. Victim's car was gone. See, here's the thing. I got a read uh, of Tommy, and I saw the shooter. He took a few shots at him. OK, so have Tommy come down and file a report. That's the other thing. He doesn't really want to talk to the cops. Right, so we have no body, no evidence, and an unreliable witness who doesn't really want to talk to the cops. Big favor. Yeah. Well, Clyde's out of the office. I mean, I guess we could work on this for a few hours, but we can't That'd file an official report. All right, let's see what Metro's got. Uh, where did it go down? Pearl and Duncan around 1 AM. Pearl and Duncan. No. 
No gunshot victims admitted to any hospitals. It must not have been reported. Well, look, I got a good look at the shooter in my read. Uh, maybe we can do a composition. OK. You boys knock yourselves out. I got paperwork. <laughs> we will. I'm going to take my jacket off. Hey, Oz, you want a sandwich? You sure made yourself at home fast? What can I say? Fear makes me hungry. Well, Toby and I went down to the crime scene. We didn't find anything. All I can tell you is they were there last night. Fridge. Oh, sorry, Mom. What is this? I like my cheese slices orange and individually wrapped. What am I, Rachel Ray? This isn't even my house, for crying out loud. You know, Oz, this is going to be fine. I've been in tougher situations than this. Yeah, well, that's your world, not mine. I prefer to patch up people who get shot than to get shot. Did you ever think we'd end up so different? It's all choices, Tommy. You had the same breaks I did. I don't know. I never had your folks. Your folks cared for you, man. They cared for you so much, you weren't allowed to hang out with me. I never felt like anybody cared. Doesn't mean you had to throw it all away. I mean, don't you get tired of calling me, asking for help? Yeah, I'm not proud of it, but I'm telling you, that's behind me now, bro. Yeah, well, I'd love to be able to believe you. And I don't blame you if you don't. I know I've screwed you over so many times. I know I can't ever make that right, but it doesn't mean I'm not going to try. Hey, buddy, any luck? What's the name of the bar that Tommy saw the shooter in? Hey, what's the name of the place where you saw the guy with the thing? Uh, the horseshoe, Queen West. Did you get that? Yeah, I got it. Uh, hang tight, man. OK. What's his internet password? Yeah, we are. Bye. You cut me half of that or what? Hey, uh, we, we got a composite of the shooter from my read. Tommy saw the guy at the horseshoe. I'm going to go by and check it out. You want to join me? Yeah. You put word out on the car Toby saw in his read? Yeah, but without even a partial plate, it's not really going to help us. I mean, there's hundreds of vehicles that match that description in the GTA alone. OK, well, if there's any missing persons reported, match the names against the vehicle types. Yeah, you got it. Thank you. OK, thank you. So how's it going? You get anything? No, nothing. Let's try this guy over here. How you doing? You recognize this guy? We think he might be a regular. What do they want with Dom? Guy's a psycho. Psycho. Sorry. Don't know him. OK, well, if you lie to us, we can make your life very difficult. Ratting out Barkin's crew is a good way to get dead. Dead. Like I said, never seen him. His name is Dom. I think he works for a guy named Barkin. Be Xander Barkin. That's the largest bookie operation in the city. We've been after him for a while now. Really? Yeah. Hey, we got a hit on the car. The same make, model, and color was found dumped out on the spit at the waterfront. Who's it registered to? Jake Salisbury. I'm trying to get a hold of him, but there's no answer on any of his contact numbers. OK, where is it now? It's at impound. Metro already knows you're coming. I have a guy who witnessed a murder, and rather than report it to Metro, you hijacked this team and did some digging around on your own. Is, am I understanding this correctly? He's a childhood friend of my good buddy Oz. Uh, he's had some trouble with drugs in the past. He's a little paranoid about the cops. So now we're going on the word of a junkie. This just keeps getting better. Oh, he's clean now. OK, you said you have the shooter's name? Yeah, his first name is Dom. Well, it's not a lot to go on, but I can check for a connection between that name and the victim. No. We hand the case over to Metro. They can handle it from here. OK, what are we going to do? We have more pressing cases. Well, guys murdered the killers on the loose. Is that not pressing enough? Oh, this isn't about a case for you. This is about a friend of yours. Well, it doesn't make it any less urgent. What do we know about the dead guy? His name was Jake Salisbury. He's 28. The coroner just confirmed the cause of death was two nine mil slugs to the chest. Which matches what a witness saw. He kept out of trouble for the most part. He was single, no kids. And up until six months ago, he worked construction full time. He was let go? Well, according to his crew foreman, he just came in one day and gave notice, never gave a reason why. Well, we don't know where he went. I looked into his bank accounts, and it seems that unemployment pays better than a day job. So he's working under the table. All of his recent deposits were cash. So I looked at his phone records, and he has ties to get this uh, the Black Bull Pup. Which is a front for Alexander Barkin's illegal sports betting operation. Well, why didn't you open with this piece of information to begin with? Now we have ourselves a case. Hey. Thanks. Here you go. Is that like Turkish coffee or something? Well, it's coffee, and I am Turkish. What? 
I'm just thinking about that guy that got popped last night, man. That so easily could have been me. I mean, that's where my whole life has been headed. Yeah, I know you kind of had it rough. It shouldn't have been so hard on you earlier. No, I'll bring it on myself. But I'm telling you, seeing that last night, that's a wake-up call. That's not going to be me. Well, it's up to you. And I'm telling you, this coffee is crap. Yeah, it's really bad. So, I mean, I'm drinking it, but it's awful. Did you use coffee and water? Hey, what's up? Hey, Oz, can you ask Tommy if he knows a guy named Jake Salisbury? His name Jake Salisbury mean anything to you? No. Why? Should it? What's going on? Don't worry about it, man. Hang in there. He doesn't know the guy. Xander Barkin, long time no see. It's okay, Grant. She's an old friend. Isn't that right, Sergeant McCluskey? So you've been upgrading. It's been a good couple years. How's Mr. Klein? Please tell me he's making another run at me, because my lawyers haven't had anybody to chew up for a while. Look, we've got a few questions to ask you. <laughs> Look, it talks. <laughs> Do you have a bookie on your crew named Jake Salisbury? I may have an employee by that name. I don't know. I'd have to check why. What's he done? He was killed last night. You know anything about that? It's got nothing to do with me. What the hell is this? Some kind of setup? Do you have a guy named Dom on your payroll? If you mean Dom Westing, your information's a couple years old. I haven't seen him in ages. Not since I paid him to get the hell out of town. Testimony would have sunk me. Thank you for your time. Wait, that's it? Always a pleasure, Sergeant. He was surprised about Jake's murder. He paid Westing to get out of town, keep him off the stand. Hey, how'd it go with Barkin? I need you to find me a current address for Dom Westing. He may recently be back in town, so check hotels or rooms by the month. Will do. Uh, in the meantime, I tracked down someone you'll want to talk to, a rounder who knows Jake. One of Barkin's guys? No, this guy's a rival underbookie. He probably just smells the opportunity to take down the head of the competition. Is he an interrogation? No. He'll only talk to you on his turf. Reggie Danks? Damn. You're a cop? Sergeant McCluskey. Appreciate your cooperation. Yeah, well, I was promised immunity. We'll honor those terms. All right. I'm thinking I can get some previous charges dropped, too. You know, as a show of good faith. <laughs> Look, don't push your luck here. What can you tell me about Jake Salisbury? I know he was a young up-and-comer, real Turk. Guy came out of nowhere. I made a play for him, but Barkin has deeper pockets. Is that good? For a time. What happened? The way I hear it, Boy Wonder started having a string of bad nights recently. How bad? Oh, three or four big payouts over the course of a few weeks. You hear the numbers involved, and suddenly it's not surprising he turns up dead. So maybe his luck ran out. Uh, that's one possibility. You have another? My theory? He was running a grift. He had a partner on the outside who would place bets with him. And Jake would fix the book once the scores came in, make sure his boy won. Then they'd split the profits. Is this a common practice among bookies? Not the ones who want to live long, healthy lives. Hey there. Hey. So he's telling the truth. Yeah. He believes Jake has a partner. Anything else? Well, yeah, he thinks you're really very super smoking hot for a cop, and he would love to take you okay. for a ride. Yeah, 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 no, 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 no. Oh, you don't want to hear the rest of no, this? No, thank you, really. No, I saw Good. it. It's quite vivid, No, actually. thanks. Dev, did you find an address for Westing? I did. It's a short-term apartment rental on Adelaide. The owner said he paid up for a month, and it's up at the end of the week. Well, he's planning on leaving town again. It's possible. Well, why would he come back at all? Well, Reggie said Jake had a silent partner. Uh, maybe Dom Westing came into town long enough to run a grift with Jake, then he splits with the profits. Yeah, the timeline matches. Yeah. So the murder wasn't a hit put out by Barkin, but instead, what, a disagreement between partners? Or it could have been a premeditated double cross. It's a credible theory. Agreed. Let me see if there's a connection between Jake and Don. Well, in the meantime, let's bring him in for questioning. Can't hide from me, you little prick. Hey. 
I thought we weren't meeting till later. Got tired of sitting around waiting? Oh, come on, Rand. What is this? I told you I'd take care of it. <laughs> You've really done a bang up job so far. You got the cash, or did you screw that up too? I got what he had. What does that mean? He tried to undercut us, only came up with half the cash. Deserve what he got. Letting that kid get away was sloppy. I'll take care of him. I got an idea who he's with. Some paramedic. You made a mess of your dumb. Now I gotta clean it up. Why don't the bad guys ever live on the ground floor? Call it in. Shooter man gets shot. Some kind of vicious criminal cycle. Well, the killer left cash and ID, but nothing else to tell us what he was into. Well, maybe we'll get something with fingerprints. I doubt it. Looks like the killer was a pro. Yeah, I don't think it was barking. As far as he's concerned, Westing is out of town. So maybe we tipped him off. Now we just need to prove how Jake and Westing were connected. And then we need to figure out why they both had to die. Do okay, you think whoever shot Westing knows about Tommy? We should call us. Yeah. Here we go. Some real coffee. Should be infinitely more potable for you, sir. Oh, why, thank you, James. James? What is that from? Yeah, I remember you used to double me on that old BMX. I used to say, oh, to the bus station, James. Man, how can I forget? <laughs> we used to spend days down at that place, man, playing the video games, stealing wine gums. Do you remember, we used to look up. We used to look up at the destination board and just dream that if we could only get on one of these buses, we'd find some amazing adventure. I don't think I want the kind of adventure you find on a bus. Sometimes I think I should have got on one of those buses. All I ever found was grief for everybody around me, for my family, for you. You know, I always appreciated that even after we weren't allowed to hang out, you still kept in touch. Yeah, well, poor judgment was always one of my strong suits. No, that was decent of you. You're a decent guy. Yeah. I'm glad that you, you know, you, you finished school, you. Got a good job, girlfriends, some money. You're out there saving lives. You did good, man. I'm proud of you. Hey, you think they still got that alien nightmare game down there? <laughs> and the quarters we wasted on that thing? We could have all gone to dental school. Uh, no, I was down there a couple of days ago. All the games are cleared out. It's all fixed up. There's a little cafe in there now. Yeah. Still the buses, though. Hey, Toby, talk to me. Hey, Oz, we found the shooter. You found him? So it's over? Maybe not. Uh, he was dead. But that's enough to get Tommy off the hook, isn't it? The, the shooter was the only one that Tommy saw. All right, look, we don't know who else he told about Tommy. You got to keep him under wraps until we figure out who ordered this hit. OK, we'll do. What, they got him? Somebody did. He's dead. You got to stick around here a little while longer. Well, there's worse places to stick around. Tommy, the night of the shooting, are you sure there's nothing else you saw? Oz, how many times do I got to tell you? I saw one dude shoot another dude, and this dude ran as fast as my legs could carry me. Is there something you're not believing here? I didn't say that. This was just moving outside of my area of expertise. I'm thinking maybe there's something we missed. You know what? I'm starving. How about we get some Chinese food? How about there are dangerous men out there trying to kill you? Yeah, you don't need to remind me. I sure hope he can. My brother was taken in for a heart attack the other day. I'm sorry. And he said that the medic who took him saved his life. He's uh, medium tall, dark hair. Oh, Osmond Bay, yeah. Well, my brother wanted me to give him this as a thank you. Sorry, we can't accept gifts. And Oz is off today, so. Uh... I'm sorry, what was your brother's name again? Oh, yeah, it's uh, Tony. Um, I really wanted to say thank you personally myself as well, so maybe I'll just come back another time, okay? Thank you. Yeah. Okay, so I've been looking deeper into the connection between Jake and Dom Westing, and everything just keeps coming right back to Xander Barkin. 
Yeah, but Barkin thought that he had paid Westing to get out of town. Those two weren't tight. Well, maybe Westing found out what Jake was doing and tried to get back into Barkin's camp. But if Westing had just done a favor for Barkin, why would he kill him? That makes no sense. I don't know how to put this politely, but you know what doesn't make sense? We're investigating a double murder where our only lead is a witness that doesn't want to talk to us. We bring him in, we're going to lose him. He's not going to make an official statement. Well, the guy's got a history as a drug addict. I'm not sure how much his testimony is even worth. Well, I read him. He's clean now. He saw the murder. He's a witness. Maybe there's something he's not telling us. Look, Barkin, he didn't know anything about Jake's murder, but he did know about Westing. Maybe we can get him on Westing's murder. If we get nothing, I'll do my best to bring Tommy in. Okay. Deal. You people keep coming back here. You're gonna have to decide whether to order cocktails or deliver warrants. Thought you might like to know Dom Weston was murdered this afternoon. Oh, that sucks for him. Oh, our fighters are killing me. A girl guy can go through his defensive line. You really don't care that he's dead? Look, I told you I knew him in passing. There's a lot of rounders like him out there, and a lot of them get themselves killed. It's not like I'm gonna go to his funeral or anything. Who the hell's hooking me up with this? And you had nothing to do with it. Been here minding my business all day. And if you two didn't keep coming around here with status reports, they wouldn't even be on my radar. What about your friend Grant? You were here all afternoon, too? I had some uh, business of my own. Now, if you're done, I'd appreciate you walking away. I've got nothing for you. My people have got nothing for you. And this football game is turning into my worst nightmare. Well, it sucks for you. So he was surprised we were coming after him for Westing's murder. Well, is he surprised that he was dead? Couldn't tell. What about his friend Grant? Uh, he was busy with a woman. I want you to find out what the city of Jake got himself killed over and why they're coming after me for it. I'm on it. Come on, you're an insult to the game. Well, you are terrible with chopsticks, man. Yeah, how did the people who came up with rice come up with chopsticks to eat it? Doesn't make any sense. What are you doing, a bit? This is awful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, I'll be here all week. <laughs> yeah, try a bit of this one. Huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Okay, don't eat all that. So when was the last time you talked to your parents? They don't want to hear from me. Come on, I can't believe parents don't want to talk to their own son. I can't believe it either. What a couple of jerks, right? <laughs> That's screwed up. So, how about you? Why'd you become a paramedic? Honestly, one word. Humber River. That's two words. Like dumbass. Okay, <laughs> you know what I mean, right? I think I do. We were, what, 10? We were idiots to go fishing in that river. I must have swallowed four gallons of water before you jumped in to save me. After that, I knew I wanted to jump in and save people, too, so. Serious? Yeah. Well, my last good deed. Come on. Ozzy, man, I wish I could be more like, you know, your new buddy Toby on the straight and narrow, always on the up and up, but it's easy for a guy like that, you know? He probably had all the advantages. Hey, Toby's had it tougher than anybody, okay? In a weird way. He just never let it decide who he's gonna be. Ozzy Bay, Metro Police, open the door. Metro Police! It's probably nothing, okay? Toby probably sent them. Let me just go talk to him. Jeez. Okay, I'm gonna call Toby. Come on. Here he comes. Here he comes. Go, go, go. Get back, get back, get back, get back. Go, go, go. cops. I told that to Oz. It's not part of the deal. I don't know or care what it is you've done or what warrants are open for you right now, but there's a killer out there and we're just trying to protect you. You know everything I know. Me going down to the cop shop isn't going to change anything. Dev, what's going on? So the guy said he was a cop. And I thought maybe you forgot and you sent him to check on us, but then he pulled out a lockpick and the biggest gun I've ever seen. You get a good look at the guy? Yeah, he's a big guy. Not like fat, but poor, like, like husky. What if I just, you know... Okay, all right. Just think of the guy, all right? Okay. Just think about the guy. Got it. All right. That's it? 
As far as I know, he's not someone we've dealt with before. Okay. Hey, Tommy. Are you sure there was just one shooter? Yes, one shooter. I've said that a hundred times. And the guy who showed up here, I've never even seen that guy before. I mean, why are they still after me? You said that the guy I saw is dead, right? So I can't hurt them anymore. Well, someone obviously doesn't think that. This is unbelievable. I mean, they get killed, I don't even know why. They've made us. The safest thing for you to do is come down with us to the IIB. No, no. Look, I'm no stranger to this, Toby. If I end up in that cop station, I end up wearing this murder. Tommy, they're just trying to help you over here. Yeah, sure. I was like, people have been helping me all along. Excuse me? So we may have got lucky. Dev turned up a guy who placed some bets with Jake at a bar called the Cha Cha Lounge a few hours before he was killed. There was a bartender who was working at the time. He's bringing him in for questioning. Okay. It's good. Yeah. Hey, Tommy. All right? Just take... Hey, uh, do you know the Cha Cha Lounge? Yeah, it's on Parliament, right? Jake Salisbury was drinking there a few hours before he was killed. Good, maybe you'll find something out. Maybe I'll get my life back. All right, they don't know you're here, okay? Lay low, you're safe here, stay. Give us a few more hours, we're gonna try to get you out of this, Tommy. Anything's possible, all right? Yeah. Thanks. Thanks, Michelle. Thank you for coming in. I don't remember being given a choice. This isn't like any cop shop I've been in before. Well, we're not regular cops. So you were working at the Cha Cha Lounge yesterday. Recognize that guy? Yeah. He's not a regular, but I remember him. He was nervous. Had a few vodkas straight up. You talked to him? Nah, he was pretty tight with the guy he was hanging out with. But he met someone? He knew him. They were thick as thieves. That him right there? That ain't him. Guy was skinny, kind of skeezy. Okay, well, thank you for your time. I'll show you up. What'd you see? Not what I expected. Hey, Tommy, take it easy, man. Okay, Toby said he'd be right back. Us, I've tried to be a good friend to you. I need you to know that. Okay, I know that tone. Don't answer that. It's Toby. Hey. Oz, listen to me. Tommy knows Jake. They're at the bar drinking together. What? Oz, he's been lying to you. To me. The whole time. Why? I don't know. Just keep him there till we get back, okay? Yeah, sure. What's going on, Tommy? All right, let me explain. Me and Jake, we scammed a little bit of money, okay, from a guy that Jake worked for. And we got busted. Jake talked to the guy. He, he said if we gave the money back, everything was going to be fine, all right? So, so we set up a little payoff. I had to go get my half, so I was late getting there. And by the time I got there, Jake... The whole thing was Jake's idea. It wasn't my fault. It wasn't your fault? What, a bunch of somebody else's money just ended up in your pocket by accident? Jake said the whole thing was gonna be safe. Tommy, life is about choices. Why do you keep making stupid ones? All right, I gotta, I gotta go. Tommy, wait. No, they're gonna be coming for me now, Oz. I gotta go. Tommy, I can't let you leave. Oz, I'm sorry, I gotta go. One way or the other, I'm going. I'm sorry. I know you don't believe me. I, I'm trying to make this right. Figure he's going for the money? It better be. Barkin's starting to ask questions. I need this cleaned up tonight. I'm sorry that I dragged you in. I should never have trusted the guy. Look, I read him. He seemed to be telling the truth. Yeah. Bear with me for a moment, because I seem to have lost the plot here. Dom Westing killed Jake. But why? Tommy said that they stole money from the guy that Jake was working for. Oh, well, that would be Xander Barkin. Yeah, but when Toby read Barkin, he didn't have a thought that he'd done anything to either Jake or Westing. Well, that was the last thing he said, you know, before he pulled a knife on me in Toby's apartment. <laughs> I don't even know the guy anymore, so. All right, you know, maybe there's someone else involved in this that we haven't spoken to yet. Did he say anything that could tell us where he was going? No, 
Nothing. I mean, I, I knew he was keeping his share of the money. Maybe he went somewhere to go get it. Or well, does a guy like that go to disappear? Well, wherever he's heading, he's going to have a bunch of killers on his tail. I'm going to put out an alert. Okay, thank you. You know, right until he left, he said he was still trying to do the right thing. Can you believe that? Maybe he was. Humans are complicated. No. Let's go. Humans are idiots when they believe humans that are lying to them. Look, you were a good friend to him. You did what you had to do. You betrayed that trust, yeah? Look, I got to get back. All right, I'll see you later. Yeah. It's going to be okay. Yeah. Toby, it's me. Um, Michelle was asking if I knew where Tommy might be going, and uh, this could be a complete long shot, but we were talking about the bus station we used to hang out when we were kids. I think he might be trying to get out of town, so I'm going down there to find him. I'll call you again if I do. idea of doing the right thing, Tommy? I gotta go. They'll never let me live. Look, if you had trusted me, we could have got this thing sorted. You could have given the money back. We could have put these guys away. Put these guys away? That's your world, not mine. Tommy, come on. Oz, I don't know why you're bothering with me right now. You're right. You're absolutely right. I'm a total screw-up. I always have been. I always will be. Just because you made some bad decisions before doesn't mean you have to keep making them. What's your problem? I mean, isn't this what you want? I'm out of your hair now. I'm out of your life. I will never ask you for anything ever again. I never said I wanted... Look, just come with me to the cops, okay? They can help you. It's too late. I got a bus to catch. Guess what? You already missed it. Oh, well, take hey, that. Hey, hey, he's got nothing to do with this. Well, he does now. Get in the car. If we get in that car, we're as good as dead. I told you to get in the car. No. You're just gonna kill us anyways, right? Get in the car! Oz, go! Go! Toby! I have need you off your weapon! Hold it right there. Jeez, here, put some pressure on it. Hey, how is he? I think it's through and through. He's gonna be okay. Sure. I'll call it in. Yeah, okay. Come on. All right, all right. Why did you do that? Because he was gonna kill both of us. You didn't deserve that. Gee, Ozzy, I'm sorry. Just take it easy, all right? Help's on the way. You're saying that Barkin's right-hand man found out that Jake was cheating him. So he decided to take out Jake and keep the money for himself. Right, exactly. And Star was gonna let Barkin think that the money was just losses. Meanwhile, he brought Dom Westing back to take out Jake. Right, but when Star found out we were on to Westing, he had him taken out as well. See, when I asked Star about that afternoon, I got the wrong read because he didn't kill Westing. He ordered Rand to do it. Yeah, the other guy from the bus station. Right. Well, if we're looking for a new definition of no honor among thieves, I think we might have just found it. Hey, buddy. Hey, come on in. So, am I still, uh, welcome here? Well, to be honest, you're never really welcome. You're just kind of tolerated. <sighs> Listen, I'm sorry if I got you in any trouble with that stuffed shirt Klein. Am I kidding me, man? The bad guys were taken down. The headlines were security. He's a happy guy. How's Tommy? Oh, Tommy's good, you know. He's probably scamming the nurses out of extra jello as we speak. How are you two? You guys good? I appreciate him saving my life and all, but as far as us hanging out, I think that's probably... Not good for either of us. Come on, you two must have got something out of it. You know, a real friend is someone who's there for you to help you as much as you're there to help them. A friend who knows that sometimes you don't have time to go to the grocery store because, oh, maybe you were holed up on the run from killers. A friend who would never let you go hungry. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm not sharing my food with you. Is that all our friendship means to you? Pulling that card? Oh, I'm very disappointed. Huh. It smells so good. It's puppy dog eyes. Pull up a chair. Come on, just don't touch the broccoli. Hey, I don't want any broccoli. 
I got my eye on these peas. Giddy up. No, I wouldn't touch the peas either. They're like this. Oh, they're not. Oh, God, they're not cooked. Exactly. 